How are damages to be calculated when a business defies a state statute intended to protect the business's customers? In assessing damages against a social meeting service, the court flirted with that question in Doe v. Great Expectations. New York State enacted a dating service law to protect dating service customers. The statute provided that dating services had to guarantee in writing a specific number of referrals per month or the service couldn't charge more than $25 a month. Services were also required to provide customers written notice of New York's Dating Service Consumer Bill of Rights, which set out other customer protections laid out in the law. Prior to this lawsuit, the dating service law had been held to apply not just to dating services, which introduce members to one another, but also to social referral services that maintain profiles of members that other members could review and potentially contact. Jennifer Doe and Deborah Rowe, not their real names, paid $1,000 and $3,790, respectively, to Great Expectations, a social referral service that charged a fee to maintain member profiles. Other members could access the profiles, and if the member chose, could contact the person profiled. Over 54 months, Rowe only met one person through the service. Doe didn't meet anyone. Doe and Rowe sued Great Expectations in New York City civil court, seeking full restitution of what they paid. Doe and Rowe testified that Great Expectations never provided the statutorily mandated Dating Service Consumer Bill of Rights. Moreover, had Doe and Rowe received the Bill of Rights, they wouldn't have agreed to overpay Great Expectations and wouldn't have signed a contract containing other provisions that further violated their statutory rights. After a bench trial, the court found that Great Expectations had overcharged Doe and Rowe and had violated most of the Dating Service Law's other provisions, including failing to provide the Dating Service Consumer Bill of Rights.